Well, new tonight, the Fisher City Council approved more than $550 million development deal, which includes an event center that the Indy Fuel will eventually call home. That's a lot of money. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli was at tonight's meeting and shares what this means for Hamilton County. Courtney? Yeah, during that meeting tonight, Fisher City Council members voted unanimously to approve the development in the Fishers District. The project is slated to begin in spring of 2023 and wrap in 2024. It includes an event center with capacity for up to 8,500 people, 60,000 square feet of retail, two hotels, and 70,000 square feet of office space. Project developers say the event center will link 116th Street to 106th Street and will have space to host pregame festivities, farmers markets, and other public events. As part of tonight's meeting, a new food and beverage tax passed in an 8 to 1 vote. Money in the food and beverage tax receipts fund will be used to directly fund a portion of the debt service payment on the event center. Deputy Mayor Elliot Hunkred says this move allows the city to invest in entertainment, dining and destination options without raising property taxes. Again, it's a tax on people consuming food and beverage and fishers. It's not a tax on fishers residents per se. I just have a quick one. Without this, we would not be able to build this that's without that's raising that's property taxes that's or that's doing correct. taking it's, some other action, it's right? Okay. Not happen without this. Okay. I think there are some marvelous opportunities for the Indy Fuel to be um, something that our community can really be proud of. If the food and beverage tax passes today, Fisher's residents literally become investors in this event center. Now the city says revenue generated from the 1% tax will go directly towards chipping away at the $170 million debt on the event center. The city estimates that it has a one to one visitor to resident ratio. So about half of the food and beverage tax collected the fund center would be from non residents. Now the tax will take effect on December 1st. City leaders also say the event center will be used for community events like HSE and Fisher's high school graduations. In the studio, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. All right, thanks so much, Courtney.